Hi, welcome to Mathematics. In this video, we want to solve for x in x factorial equals x to the power 3 minus x. Let's say solution. We have x factorial equals x to the power 3 minus x. So from here, let's recall that recall that when we have n vectoria this is equals n multiplied by n minus 1 vectoria right so therefore if we apply this here we are going to have x vectoria will be equals x times x minus 1 vectoria so x factor, if x factorial is equal to this, so we are going to have we are going to have x factorial equals this. We we'll have x then x minus one factorial equals we have x cube minus x x cube minus x. So we have x times x minus 1 factorial equals we have x in common here so let's factorize this out we have x times x square minus 1 so you can either say divide both side by x but surely this x will cancel this x so we'll be left with x minus 1 factorial equals x square minus 1 so, and if you like, you can see this to be one square. So, it's still the same. So, but let's recall, to just have a difference of two square, let's put two here. So, and you know, when we have a square minus b square. So, this is a difference of two square. So, I'm going to have a minus b and a plus b, right? So, now let's apply this to this. So, we have x minus 1 factorial and we have difference of two square here so we are going to have x minus 1 and x plus 1 All right so also remember when we have this general expression of n minus 1 factorial this is equal so we are going to have n minus 1 then n minus 2 factorial so let's further break this down so applying this we are going to have x minus 1 factorial will be equals x minus 1 and x minus 2 multiplied by x minus 2 factorial so since this is equal to this so we can just apply it here so we are going to have x minus 1 x minus 2 factorial equals so then we have x minus 1 multiplied by x plus 1 so we have x minus 1 times x plus 1 so from here let's divide both sides by x minus 1 divide both sides by x minus 1 so and if we do we are going to have x minus 1 x minus 2 factorial let's divide it by x minus 1 x minus 1 equals we have x minus 1 times x plus 1 divided by s minus 1 so we know this we cancel this and this we cancel this so we have x minus 2 factorial equals x plus 1. Here, let's let us say we have x minus 2 equals m. So if x minus 2 equals m, so then x will be equals m. We transfer this here, we have x is equal to m plus 2. So if you have this, 
Therefore, when we say m factorial, this should be equals. That is m plus 2 plus 1. The how we got is we've let our x is equal to m plus 2. Now we have x minus 2 factorial x minus 2 factorial so equals x plus 1 we have x plus 1 so we have here we have x so our x is m plus 2 minus 2 factorial so equals x is m plus 2 then we have plus 1 here so we know this we cancel this so we have m factorial equals m plus 2 plus 1 so that's how we arrive at that so therefore our m factorial will be equals m plus 2 plus 1 will give us m plus 3 so now let's test let's test like let's okay okay let's say if m equals 4 so if m equals four, so we are going to have four factorial equals four plus three, right? So we have four factorial is four times three times two times one equals four plus three. That is seven. Oh yeah, now let's see this. Four times three that is twelve. Twelve times two that is twenty-four. Twenty-four times one that is twenty-four equals 7 we will see that this is not equal so therefore m equals 4 is not possible it's not possible all right so also let's test for m equals 3 if m equals 3 so we are going to have 3 factorial equals 3 plus 3 3 factorial is, is 3 times 2 times 1. So this is 3 plus 3, that is 6. We have 3 times 2, that is 6 is times 1. 6 is equal to 6. So we see that this is what? This is valid. So therefore, m equals 3 is valid. So now, we are not finding m. So what we are asked to find is m. You now say recall recall that our x minus 2 equals m so we have x minus 2 so what is true for m so that is 3 right so we have x equals 3 plus 2 so we have x equals 5 so this is our answer so you can see check that so to check let's check we have x factorial equals s is to power 3 minus x so we have x equals 5 so we have 5 factorial equals we want to check sorry so we want to check if this equals we have 5 is to power 3 minus 5 so we have 5 factorial is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. We want to check if this is equal to 5 raised to power 3 is 125. That is minus 5. So four, 5 times 4, that is 20. 20 times 3, that is 60. 60 times 2, that is 120. 120 times 1, that is 120. Is it equals to 125 minus 5? that is 5 so sorry that is 120 so if you now check you can now declare that 120 equals 120 so it is true for x is equal to 5 thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video can you like and leave a comment and don't forget to share with your friends and network do well to also subscribe to my channel to stay updated on my next video bye